I'm Ari Herstand, and I'm playing the Fine Line Music Cafe in Minneapolis. Tonight I'm releasing a solo live DVD CD package of a live show. In the town. I kind of started performing, I actually went to the University of Minnesota uh, for one year as a classical trumpet and music education major. And um, while I was there, I actually started writing a lot more with my acoustic guitar and the piano and then just kind of started performing out at coffee shops and open mics and clubs and, and realized that that was kind of the direction I, I wanted to go and that was like my true passion, what I needed to pursue. I knew I wanted to be a singer-songwriter um, and I felt that learning the, uh, the business side of everything I could kind of navigate my way through the industry that way. And then I, I hopped into the studio and recorded my first album right away and still kind of working a few day jobs. Um, at Urban and Gerbert's sub shop and I was a delivery driver um, for a couple years and I worked at Starbucks uh, as a barista for a couple years also and I uh, expanded out, um, played all over Minnesota, got to Wisconsin, to the Dakotas and Iowa and then um, kind of two years ago I was making enough money just playing music where I was able to quit Starbucks and just kind of survive just on my music. A sound's a faint to an itch inside you. I feature a lot of looping. Um, I run my acoustic guitar, the keyboards, microphones, and I play trumpet and beatbox. And so that's kind of my solo show. It's a big looping, um, pretty organic, acoustic, uh, kind of unique, different show. Initially, when I started writing songs, I had a band in mind. I didn't, the loop station came because I, uh, when band members couldn't make a show or when I was just playing a solo show, I felt there was a large musical element missing, so I initially got the Loop Station to kind of compensate for not having a band with me. The Loop Station kind of grew into um, my, uh, like a defining element of my show just as much as the acoustic guitar or the keys or the trumpet. Um, so that's kind of why I, I recorded a solo show for the DVD that I'm releasing tonight. A singing followed sound this past Monday, I, I, um, One Tree Hill featured one of my songs, which was um, a huge honor and it was amazing for me. And I saw a giant spike in my iTunes sales, which was great. Um, but like, you know, I don't have, um, I am my own manager. Um, I'm my own booking agent now, and I kind of am building up everything on my own and I'm um, just kind of working, uh, you know, getting like little breaks here and there, but just kind of um, growing slowly. It's looking for this is uh, kind of my first uh, music video ever. It's for the song Rose Stained Red, so one of my songs. And it's uh, from my latest studio album. They, we recorded the video to that song. Um, and we really, I mean, we spent a long time on it. It was a, the director was a student. Um, so it was kind of one of his first projects, but it turned out I mean, I think really excellent. We probably had, I think, 10 different shooting days, mostly around Minneapolis. We went to his cottage in Wisconsin. The, the female in the video that kind of plays my girlfriend um, is my girlfriend's best friend because my girlfriend doesn't really like the spotlight, so she didn't really want to be in it. But um, her best friend um, was kind of perfect for the part. And so uh, the video is kind of featuring just the two of us hanging out in some live shots that were done at the Varsity Theater. I kind of toured the country over the last few years, so I've I played New York about four or five times and LA a couple times and kind of been up and down California and up and down the East Coast and um, played South by Southwest and uh, Milwaukee Summerfest and so I've I played out a lot and I guess um, I'm really growing my career as a uh, um, more so on a grassroots level, so I'm not looking to get uh, a single right away on the radio and I'm not looking to sign with a major record company because I, I feel it's really important to kind of grow my career and I don't really want to um, you know get picked up by a record company and then shelved or explode for two years and then dropped um, and not know what to do so I'm really trying to build it up organically but all my dates are on my website um, ariherstand.com or my Facebook page um, I run my Facebook page so if people want to go there and just write on my wall or something like that, um, they can get in touch with me there. And it's just facebook.com slash Ari Herstand. Inside your ear. My city sound was that itch inside my